just look at how you can create that platform and then you wrap up or you set the access options once your project is complete. So guys, what I mean is that uh, I have already created my switchboard, my main form or my dashboard. So this is my dashboard, but I need a solution whereby when the system rolls, uh, these ones are not still. So I need to do something on that. So that this is this is called the navigation pane. And also the dashboard should not be the first thing. So guys, I need to create a platform. So I can just go to create, then I can just go to more forms, then more dialogue. Then I need to move these two buttons. That is the the OK button and the cancel button. Then guys, after doing that, I can right click to give me the back field color. I did it to green. Then I can just go to uh, this position here. You can just go to this position, take the right box, then type my heading here. <coughs> so my heading is airline management. Then I click, uh, I click outside, then we find the label, go to format, then arrange, change the color. Then after doing that one, I can just go to uh, this point here and increase the, the point size. Then I can go to change this one to add it to this, so that it can be borrowed, that is to have it borrowed. Then uh, size 20. So this is my splash form. Then I can just include the word rolling. Then put the continuous dot, click outside, then inside the label. Also make it vivid, go to format, then align, make it red, and also bigger. So I want to change this one to that green. Then make sure this one is empty. So guys, after doing this, this is my trash, save it as trash. Then I can run it. So this is my trash form. You can see uh, just a screen. Then I can make sure that um, it's the first screen to round like that, then exit and open the dashboard. So I need to go to the, to the tiny view of that form, guys. Then click up here, go to property sheet, then event. So on the event procedure here, you go to on timer. So I just go to timer here. Timer interval here, I just assign something like uh, that's 500. Then on timer, I choose the event procedure, hit the green dot, so I'll be taken to the uh, code window. So here, guys, I need to first of all write the code, code to cross, to cross trash. Because trash should be the first form, so it should be crossed, then the dashboard opens. So guys, do emd dot cross. That is the, the code. That is the code to Close. Then, guys, we have the code. We have the code to open, to open dashboard. That's good. So our code to open dashboard is to do cmd dot open form. Then the name of the form. The name of the form, guys. The name of the form is uh, dashboard. Then put a comma. Choose AC normal. That is the code, guys. Then you can also get this code uh, on my description zone of my video. So after you do that, you save the code. Then hit this access button. It takes you back to this point. So guys, if I run this one, it goes for some few minutes, process itself, and opens the dashboard. After guys, you set up the access options. Go to file. Go to uh, options. Go to current database, type the name of your system up here, then choose trash form. I need the trash form to be the first display form. Then I need to make sure that it is not overlapping because if it is overlapping, your, your open object will not appear up here. They will overlap, they will hide each other. Also, it's important to compact on cross to remove unwanted. Then remove this tick. Uh, guys, you remove this tick. It's the navigation pen. You also remove around two menus. You also remove around each of shortcuts. Then you click on OK. Then you get this mess 
creativity now be point instead of saying Microsoft Access, it changes to the name you give your database. So I click on OK. Then now guys, I can close my system, then open it again. See what happens. You see the trash form rule, then the dashboard. And your system guys, for that case, it is stuck. You can pass and go. Guys, remember to 